tutorial on setting up Java version 7, update number 7 in TextPad 6 on Windows 7. I'm going to start by clicking the Start button, going to Computer, selecting Organize, Folder and Search Options, View, and go down to where it says hide extensions for known file types and make sure this is unselected then click apply and OK now you can see all the file extensions when you're browsing on your computer OK and the next step is going to be getting the latest Java development kit so for that we're gonna go to a web browser I'm going to search for Java SE, click enter, should be the first link. Uh, go down to the JDK, the current latest version is number 7, update number 7, and click download then you're going to accept the license agreement and find your operating system which for me is a Windows X86 select that should have a pop-up saying if you want to save the file save it This might take a few minutes to download. Okay, now that it is downloaded, you want to go into the downloads folder. You have your JDK and open. Select yes. Next. Next. <clears throat> and now it will start downloading it onto your system, copying all the files. Select Next, and it will continue installing. Okay, now that it is installed, click Close and now you will be redirected to their website which you don't need to worry about, close that and now you should have Java on your system computer C drive depending on which version it will be in one of these two folders mine's in program files Java this is the JDK 1.7 update number 7 and here is where it is installed. Now you're going to want to copy the path that this took. So you'll click this folder. And then you can right click and copy this for later. Now you need to set up your environment variables so that your computer recognizes the .jav extension. For this you're going to go to the start menu and then control panel system and security go down to system now you're going to see a bunch of options on the left hand side select advanced system settings and environment variables okay the first variable we're going to have to set up is the path variable if you do not have the path variable then you'll have to select new if it's there select edit in here do not delete anything in these boxes the name should be path and if you do not have a value such as this one which is the extension to your own java development kit then you'll go to the end, add a space, semicolon, followed by another space, 
paste in your path, followed by backslash bin. Since I already have it, I don't need to add it. And that'll be our first variable set up. Then select OK. Our second variable is going to be in the bottom. Select path. If you do not have path, you'll have to select new. If you do have it, select edit. The variable name will be path. And you'll add in the same extension here. The semicolon followed by your path followed by backslash bin. Then select OK. The next one will be the class path variable be at the top obviously. We'll select class path. If you do not have it, you'll have to add it by selecting new. If not, select edit, name class path, value, semicolon followed by a period. <coughs> now select OK. Your next variable will be Java Home. So scroll down to find Java Home. If you do not have Java Home, select New. If you do, select Edit. Variable name will be all uppercase Java underscore Home, followed by the value, which is the path to your Java JDK, without the backslash bin at the end, just like I have here. And select OK. And that's all you need to do for set up, setting up your environment variables. You can select OK, OK again. Now to make sure that they are in there, you'll go back into Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables, and make sure all your variables are still in this list. If they are not in this list, you may have to restart your computer at this point, and then go back in and make sure they are in here. If they're not, try entering them all again, and they should be in there. Select OK, OK, and now you will have to install TextPad on your system. Go to your web browser. We'll go to textpad.com. In textpad.com, we're going to select Download. Scroll down. Since you're listening to this in English, I'm guessing you'll want the English version. So select Download under English. I'm going to select this. So now I have the setup for TextPad. I'm going to double click on the setup. Now we're going to go through the install of TextPad version 6. Next, accept the license agreement. Next, whatever you want your username to be. I'm going <clears> to <throat> install it in your program files. Select next and select install. Now we'll just wait a few moments. Oh. Don't forget about authentication, yes, and it is installed. We'll select launch the program and finish. Now to make sure all of our extensions are working, we're going to go to configure, preferences, go down to tools, and expand it by clicking the plus arrow. You're going to go to compile Java, and you're going to make sure all of your options are the same as mine. You're going to have the file, file directory, capture output, and most people have set sound alert when completed. Then also the important one is running the Java application. Okay, once you have all that you'll select apply and then okay. 
Now we are going to do a brief test just to make sure everything's working. We'll go to File, Save As. We'll go test.java. Save it. Already exists. Alright, we'll replace it. Start off public class test. Then public static void main string array args. Do the most basic test that is about the first thing anyone learns when learning Java, which is printing out hello world. Now there's a shortcut keys on your keyboard, but I'll show you on the tools menu. So we'll go to tools, external tools, compile Java. We'll get a dialog popping up saying that it was completed success successfully. Then we'll go to tools, external tools, run Java application. And we'll get a nice printout saying hello world, which means all of your variables have been set up correctly and everything is correct now. Thank you for listening and I hope this helped you set up your Java JDK on your system and good luck in your programming.